beating tier limit, it's very hard. I'm having very much trouble beating tier limit. Yeah, when I was five years old, but after this information that you guys are going to hear and need to learn, that's why you guys need to save the whole video, you guys can destroy tier limit left and right. There's a special trick to do it that I'm going to explain in this video. Before we get into this video, limited time only, last day, last day, last day. Get your tier limit mats now in the description. Yeah, Vice and Starfrost, you look cool, bro. But guess what? Every other card in there is getting clapped up in this video. So get your mats now because it's the very last day that you guys have the opportunity to do so. Black Friday sale is Saturday. Get your mats now. Get your mats now. After you get your mats, check out the link for Illustrals. Get your starter decks now and be a part of history. Of what just might be one of the biggest card games ever in history. Get your Elestral packages now. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter. Let's go. If you also want to learn more about Elestrals, check out my gameplay videos on the channel where I discuss thoroughly how to play it. I do a vlog with my brother playing the game. And we have a best of three, so make sure to go check that out. And let's get straight into this video. This is how to destroy tier limit. So pay close attention. There are 18 cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! that you could play in your deck. If you draw any two of these 18, you could destroy every single tier limit deck. So the math behind seeing two of 18 is extremely high. Well, like, I'm not even going to do the math. Because 100% chance of victory. I don't make the rules. I am the rules. So what you need to do is out of these 18, you need to play, play all 18 of them in your deck, post side deck especially. If your deck could play D-Shifter, I'll say them all, that's 21. If you, you could play Herald of Orange or Gamma, that's 24. But what the cards are, are Abyss of Magnum, Sorinir, Druid, Worm, Skullmeister, DD Crow, Ghost Spell. These six times three is 18. Shifter makes it 21. Herald slash Gamma can make it 24 and 27. Just play 18, it's fine. 18 out of 40, you have a high likelihood of seeing three plus of them every single hand. At the very least, you'll be seeing two of them in every single hand mathematically. So, I'm going to show you guys a sample deck list. So, if the most played deck is Tier Limit, and you're playing a deck like this, you are main decking 18 hand traps, but you're really only playing three. You're playing your nine Bisted, your three Havnis, and your three uh, Kelbex. So, there's 15 hand traps, but they're all like built in engine. Now, let's say you're playing any other deck Sprite, for example, whatever it may be, Pendulums, anything, doesn't matter, except Wonder, because Wonder can't really play Bisted cards. But if you play these nine and these three, that's 12. So now, post side deck, okay? Now, I already have Havnis and uh, Kalpak and Interruptions. I want you guys to see this. Doesn't matter what deck you play, but this is an anti Ishizu Ishizu deck. So let's say you play any other deck. Play these 18 3 Bell, 3 Crow, 3 Meister, and 3 Magnemite, 3 Druid, 3 Sornier. If you have these 18, look at the likelihood of this. Similarly to pre other formats where it's the same reason why you're playing 15 Hydras Plus. So if you play 15 Hydras Plus, now what I'm about to tell you guys right now, this is what you guys need to listen to. You can take the whole, just stop the video after this, it doesn't matter. What I'm about to tell you guys is. This is golden news. It's a golden ticket to victory. This is what you guys, you guys need to hear. Okay. Buy a Triff Gaming Playman on TriffGaming.com. But the actual golden news after that, which you guys should do, I assume you guys already did it because there's like one day left of the sale. But Tier Limit Playman literally gone after this. But the actual thing you gotta listen to, here it is, here it is. If you play these 18, so three Magnum, three Sarnia, three Druid One, three Meister, three Bell, three Crow. Every deck can play these, okay? Even if your deck can play Shifter, play Shifter 2. This deck can't, but that's 21. This is what you do. You let your opponent play, you let them resolve their Kelbeck, you let them resolve a Guido, you let them resolve Sheeran, Rhino, whatever the fuck. All you stop is their first two fusions of these. Havnis, Murley, Sheeran. You stop those three. Havnis, Murley, Sheeran. You stop the first two that you see. You play 15 to 18 graveyard stoppages of Havnis, Sheeran, and Murley. All those 18. Bell stops Havnis, Crow stops Havnis, Meister stops Havnis, all of these stop Havnis, all the Bisted stop them. And you do that. Stop the first two. If you see 18, you'll see it. When you stop the first two in a Tillerman deck, they pass their turn. If you stop three, they're also pass their turn, obviously. But just all you need to do is stop the first two, they're passing their turn. And if you, But if you only stop the first one, they are not passing their turn. You guys hear, hear that? You guys hear that? This is the downside of playing nine Bisted without these other graveyard hand traps. When you play only nine of these interruptions in the graveyard, maybe you'll see one. Sure, you'll stop the first Tillerman. Okay. All right, maybe they have a Herald to stop it. Maybe you see, need two or three. But when you see two plus, and when you stop the Merlin, you stop the Sheeran in the grave, it's over. They pass their turn with nothing. Dweller's not hitting the field. You just win the duel automatically. So in this is why you must max out on all these cards. So post side deck, don't... Now, hear me out. 
Okay, let's say you're playing this deck. Forget Salyek, forget Scream, literally forget all of these. I'm not even playing Kelbeck. I don't want I do not want my Kelbeck touching the graveyard in the mirror. Post side deck, look at these 18. Even with Happiness, you're playing 21 hand traps post side. Okay? But you're playing 21. 18 of these just stop the opponent from playing. Does this look like you're bricking? You're not bricking with this. I don't want to hear that. You're not bricking with this. When you play these 16, you're not bricking. When you're playing Bisted with Beatrice, why is Beatrice a fish? What did Farfa do to my dueling book? Anyways, you're not bricking with this. No. What? You're not. No chance. In fact, the opponent will not be doing anything with this whatsoever. On top of that, Scott Mice is a level four. Just saying. But th this is how you play the deck. Now, it's the same thing with Sprite. It's the same thing with other decks that play hand traps. If you're playing hand traps like Ash and Baylor, they're not doing shit. Don't stop their stop their fusions from resolving. That's how you beat Tillamy. If there's anything you can take in this video, fuck every other card in this deck. These 18 with Shifter, Gamma, and Herald, stopping specifically Merly, Havner, Sheeran in the grave, that's how you stop it. Okay? So now, if I were to take this deck right here that you guys look at against a Tillamy deck, I'm obliterating them. Mathematically, I don't think I'm even going to lose. Maybe they'll get lucky here and then, but 8 out of 10 times, I'm destroying them. And if you outplay them, make that 9 out of 10. So that's the strategy. You must capitalize on Bell Crow Meister in the side at least with all nine bisted. And do the math. If you play, it's like similar to playing hand traps against against rock uh, emancipators. Okay, let's say you want to play in 15 hand traps. Maybe you'll see two plus, right? Or think of even past formats like Prank Kid. In Prank Kid format, you would play 15 hand traps hoping that you see two plus. If you see one, you lose. Similarly to this. If you're only playing 9 Bisted, hoping you're going to see one of them, sure, you'll see one, but it's not going to do jack shit to tier limits. But the second you open 2 or 3 or 4 of these 18, your opponent's passing their turn, you're going to have a field of some Bisted cards, and you're just going to summon Merly and the duel's over. So this is the overall deck list that if you want to play tier limit, it could look something like this, where you max out on each of the tier limits of these 12. But also, I'm putting Havnis here because against any other deck, you're playing 18 hand traps with only three of them being brick hand traps of Meister. It is level four, so it's not really a brick. But all these 15 are hand traps. So it's something like, I, mean, I organize like this so you guys can see very clearly with the Bissett being at the end. These, all you need. I mean, you can even play Terraforming, but it's fine. This is the side deck. You're only playing, you do not play Dark Ruler and Droplets versus Tier Limit. You just stick with your 20 hand traps plus, uh, 20 plus graveyard hand traps. Dark Ruler and Droplets and Twin Twisters are here for Flunder. That's it. And that, like only for decks that don't care for graveyard hand traps. And that's it. And then uh, all you need is these five fusions. You do not need Draco Stapalia. That's just extra. Dark, Sprint, Elf, Mask, Curious, Zero Boros. You should be playing Curious because of the Bistids. Beatrice is huge. I still don't know why it's a fish. What, what's, it, what's this? Joel? I don't know, man. I don't know. Farfa is weird. Dweller, Baguska, Zeus. That's, a, that's all you need. That's literally all you need. And people overcomplicate this mirror. Not even the mirror. People overcomplicate destroying a Shizu. All you need to destroy a Shizu is have your assortment of graveyard interruptions between all nine Bisted. All nine. Don't play fucking eight. Play nine. All 18 of them. I'm only playing Bell because there's just no space. This is 18 graveyard... Uh, 17 graveyard interruptions with three Havnis. With Havnis, basically my eyes getting rid of this. So Havnis counts as 20. So I'm playing 20 interruptions out of 40. Half my deck interrupts them from playing. And when you see two of the 20, the opponent is passing their turn. So that's just auto win. Run this strategy and you will not lose against this ugly deck. Tier limit. I love you guys. Make sure to check out the playmats while you guys can. It's available only, I believe today's the last day on the Saturday. This will be posted on Saturday, so this will be the last day. Also make sure to check out the Alestros Kickstarter while you guys can. It is up on December 4th, so get your founder's edition while you guys can. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestros. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestros Card Game, available now on Kickstarter.